Hey guys, uh, in the last Q&A video, Charles wanted to know what are your short and long-term fitness goals? That's a pretty cool topic. I thought I'd delve into that a little bit more in depth today. Talk about my goals for the future, my dreams, uh, my, uh, the races that I want to do and all that good stuff. Stay tuned. So let's just jump straight in and talk about my short-term goals first. Well, I'm coming back from a break. If you follow me here or if you follow me on Strava or anything like that, you probably know uh, that I've had a training break and I'm just coming back from it at the moment. So my short-term goal, like an immediate short-term goal, is just to get back to some decent fitness. I just want to get steady training going again, uh, regular running, uh, build myself up. I'm, I'm really, really like after that long break, I've uh, I've reverted back to like a very low level of fitness. I feel uh, hopefully it'll go up again pretty quickly. So my first goal is just to get fit again. That that's for the next few months. And currently there's no races on the schedule for this spring and possibly summer due to the coronavirus. So yeah, I'm just going to. Um, focus on building base fitness. For the for for this year though, I do still have a big goal and that is to run my first marathon in Nice in November. Uh, so I tried last year, or well, I didn't really try, uh, long story, you can check out my video here about that. But I, uh, I want to try again. So in November, I hope to toe the line and run my first marathon. That's the main thing, just running my first marathon. But I do, of course, have my time goals as well. It's very tempting to go sub three on my first marathon. But now that I've had this break, I don't know if I'm going to be able, able to sort of build to get to that point of being in sub three shape by November. On the other hand, maybe. I, I don't have enough experience with my own body in this situation to know if that's possible. I think I was close to that shape last year uh, and before um, problems started occurring um, and I had to back off training. But can I get there by November? Maybe, maybe not. The main thing for me is just to finish a marathon, uh, get a decent time. And of course, if I could go sub three, that would be awesome. Long term fitness goals. Okay, so first of all, fitness goals. In general, I don't have fitness goals. I just have running goals. I, I, I'm sacrificing my, my overall fitness for the sake of running. So if I was just wanting to build general fitness, I'd probably want to do some more upper body train, training. I want to build a little bit more muscle. Uh, I don't have much upper body muscle at the moment. I, I, would, I would do more varied training. But I want to specialize in running and that means uh, I got to be super light, no, no big chest muscles and arms and that sort of thing. And, and, and all my time and energy needs to go towards running and whatever training can support running. So strength training and mobility training for sure, but especially running. So my running goals for the future though is, um, well, I want to take it as far as I can. That's my dream. Mainly, I just love running. I want to run a lot. I want to run for a long time. I love the idea of training as a as a as an elite athlete. That that's something that really appeals to me. Um, I'm approaching my training almost like an elite athlete right now, even though my performances are obviously far from elite. But you know. I dream of getting to a point where my performances are pretty good as well. I'm somewhat competitive, I guess. Um, I would love to see my marathon times. I'm particularly fascinated by the marathon, perhaps also the half marathon. I would love to see my marathon times just drop year by year and to get down to like a, I don't know, sub 220. I feel like that that's that would be awesome if I could go sub 220. Certainly, I want to go sub 230 at one point. Um, I'm not going to start talking about sub 210. That seems unreasonable at my age. I'm 34 now. And by that time, I'm probably too old to go sub 210. But then again, who knows what's possible? And I don't really know, you know, am I genetically superior or inferior in terms of long distance running? I don't, I don't know that until I've tried high mileage training. And so, 
yeah, I, I dream of running really fast, basically. But I'm okay if that doesn't happen as well. I just dream of running a lot. That's my main thing. I do have a dream race. It's uh, Transvulcania. It's an ultra marathon on La Palma. That's what I first was. Uh, that's what first inspired me to to start running uh, that race. And so I'm thinking maybe in 2024 or something like that I could run it. Of course, I dream. I have a dream of winning it. We'll see about that. Let's start with just finishing it. It's pretty tough. Um, and of course, the marathon majors, Boston Marathon. I don't know if that's a major, but I, I do want to do Boston Marathon, Chicago Marathon, um, Paris, London, Berlin, Tokyo. There are a lot of cool marathons around and uh, a lot of cool races here in Norway too. So I guess the simple way to put it is just my long-term fitness goals are just many, and but I just want to do more training, more running and faster running, <laughs> run further faster and and just more of it all together and i guess in order to do that i need to sculpt a body that is a running machine you know i need to make all my slow twitch fibers optimized i need to get all my faster twitch muscle fibers more like the slow twitch fibers so i need to condition myself by lots of hours of training we're talking thousands of hours over several years to condition my body to you, to just have tons of mitochondria, heart strong, lots of capillaries, um, all the good stuff that's needed for um, aerobic endurance performance and just, yeah, just year after year stay consistent and stay injury free. That's a big goal in itself, just staying injury free, staying healthy, something I've struggled with in the past and still do. So let's hope I'm able to just run in general and train. That, that would be the best thing. If I can do that consistently over a few years, um, yeah, I feel like anything is possible. Thanks for that question. That's a cool question. I'm excited. Please follow along my journey, of course, by subscribing to this channel. Uh, follow me on Strava, Instagram. There's links in the description. Contact me if you want coaching. I do offer that online as well, running coaching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.